Joy to your boy Shadraka Money Craft once again. And welcome to my channel for another episode of Entertainment Update. Charlie, I think you know for all the gist, all the gossips, all the news, all the updates, yeah, separating around Africa Entertainment. You know, I will deliver them to you on this platform. So, Charlie, I beg you, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell icon, and you will always get a notification anytime I drop any entertainment update and this one is about stone ball versus grammy the grammy academy yeah stone ball is going out on the grammy academy you know he wake up this morning in a bad mood in a violent mood and you know he is going out on grammy because of a certain you know a certain article you know they, they wrote about ghana music you know they dropped this article on the official website talking about the history of ghana music Talking about the genesis of Ghana music. And you know, they were measuring the pioneers of Ghana music. So, because of this article, Stone Boy is losing his head because they, they actually mentioned, you know, the, the pioneers of Ghana music and they left out his name. And they left out his name. So, Stone Boy is not happy that you didn't write the history of Ghana music. Talking about the genesis of Ghana music and you left my name out out of the article a real grammy Charlie, you know one of the biggest international platforms yeah grammy academy actually wrote you know this article about ghana music and then left out stone boy's name so it be this way the, the thing the bash stone boy say ah are you going to talk about ghana music without mentioning my name in the article without talking about me so stone boy you know they lose his edge over this article and Charlie. This morning it was going out on, on, on Grammy. And do you know what like do you know what the pain are most like what if you the trigger stone boy? Charlie they actually mentioned uh Shatavani's name in that article. Yeah, they mentioned his name as well as one of the pioneers, you know, who 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 pushed the agenda of reggae dancer in Ghana. Yeah, that's what um uh, Grammy Academy wrote about uh Shatavali. They actually tagged him as a pioneer who pushed the agenda of Ghana music in the beginning of Ghana music. So, Charlie, I think that be the part where they think the bass stone ball. Say, ah, ah, Grammy Pa, you wrote an article talking about the history of Ghana music, talking about the pioneers of Ghana music. You mentioned one his name and you left my name out, out of the article. How do you feel right, you know, about Ghana music without mentioning stone boy's name? So, stone boy was going at like he was he was he was pissed about this article that they they talk about ghana music without mentioning his name and you know this thing really the bash stone boy because they dropped this article like three days ago but actually stone boy couldn't sleep over this article three days ago and he's still ranting over this article so Charlie, this morning he's on his facebook page on his, on his twitter page you know blasting the the writer who, who dropped this article about Ghana music? Yeah, my man is losing his head over this article coming from Grammy. So let's read the only part where Shatavani's name was mentioned in the article as one of the pioneers who pushed the agenda of reggae dancer in Ghana. Yeah, I think that would be the only part where in the bash stone boy. So let's read that only part where Wallace's name was mentioned in the article. As a movement and culture, hip life is also an identity created to encourage people to be daring in their exploration of sound. Pioneering our life artists like Rutai, Samini, and Shatawale, then known as Bandana, fused dancer and high life in the early 90s to make music which could connect with local audiences. Yeah, so according to Grammy, these are the names, these are the artists who championed the agenda of reggae dancer in Ghana, who pioneered you know, the agenda of reggae dancer in Ghana, Rutai, Samini, and Shatawale. You know, then time, Bandara. So, yeah, this be the part where it be verse stumbled. So, Charlie, you are talking about the history of reggae dancer in Ghana without mentioning my name. So, yeah, stumbled verse, like the man verse, because Charlie, Shatawale's name, you know, was mentioned in the article as one of the pioneers who championed the agenda of reggae dancer. So this morning, it dropped some, you know, some posts to be attacking the writer who wrote this article. And Charlie, even Stoneboy posted his Grammy certificate. 
<laughs> yeah, he posted his Ghani certificate on his Twitter page to prove to Ghana that even Ghani know him. Even Ghani they recognize him as one of the best artists in Ghana. So how do you feel right about the history of Ghana music without mentioning him, Stone Boy? How do you feel post article about Ghana music on 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 Ghana website without his name, Stone Boy? So yeah, Stone Boy posted his Ghana certificate to show Daniels that he is a Ghana certified artist. So there's no way you feel talk about Ghana Ghana music without mentioning his name, without without you know talking about him in that article. So yeah, he posted, you know, his evidence that yeah, he's a Grammy uh, certified artist. <laughs> you know, you know this more. So you know, he dropped this on his Twitter page, and you know, he was blasting the writer. He was blasting the person who wrote that article and posted it on the Grammy website. Let's read what Stoneboy posted. Whoever wrote this article is interestingly missing the name Stoneboy. Grammy Academy, do due diligence before publish of those articles aiming to capture the true image of the state of the Ghanaian sound. Yeah, and that was the message coming from Stoneboy to Grammy for snubbing him in their article. You know, that was talking about the history of Ghana music. So yeah, Stoneboy made this post blasting the writer. That Charlie, Charlie, you know, if you talk about Ghana music with that Stoneboy. So yeah, he made this post on his official Twitter page to blast the writer, you know, who posted that article on 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 Grammy's website. And man, Charlie, you know, the small truly people are really truly stone boy, you know, for for this because it'd be like he need validation too much. Like he always want to be there. He always want to be there. So people are like, yo, guy, man, this one to how how you go free reply this. This one, you know, the reality. So why, why, why can't you just ignore this and move on? Well, entertainment publicist Kwame Dazi also replied Stoneboy. Hey, that's all artist fighting for a space in hip life history. Then what should the many iconic hip lifers who are not mentioned in the article say? Rutai, Azigiza Jr., Yogi Dogi, Sonny Bali, Samini, Shatawale, and the like emerged at a time hip life was hot in Ghana. Although they were rather reggae dancer artists, they doubled in hip life too. Their songs were influenced by hip life and their intent influenced their genre. So it is fair their names are mentioned in the article. Stone Boy came in at a later time when dancer had gained higher currency and had very little influence on or from hip life. This is not a big deal at all. Why can't you ignore this and move on? It'd be like you are, you are too obsessive with Shatavali's name. Yeah. Because Wali's name was mentioned and, and he was not so yeah you can't take it so people are really bashing stone boy for for making that post you know attacking grammy charlie because they wrote an article and they snub his name and they ignore him so yeah invest so charlie people are really bashing stone boy for this and you know when grammy dropped this article most of his fans you know were even attacking grammy most of his fans were attacking grammy for posting that article so i was like okay that's why they're it be fast, fast there, yeah. Fast will always be fast. Not knowing even the artist himself was bleeding. Even Stone Boy himself was bleeding because of this article. Because Grammy wrote the issue of Ghana music without mentioning his name. And this one, they were even talking about the pioneers. You know, those people who push the agenda in the 90s. So yeah, they were right with what they wrote. But Stone Boy wants his name to appear in, in that particular article because Shatavale's name was mentioned, you know, in that article. So, yeah, by all means, before put his name in that article. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> so, this morning, people are really, you know, blasting. While Stoneboy is blasting Grammy, some guys are also blasting Stoneboy, you know, for attacking Grammy because of this article. Charlie, this is what I have for you on this episode. So, keep it up here for more entertainment gist, more entertainment updates. More entertainment gossips. I believe you know, subscribe, like, comment, and share. This is your boy Shadaka. More crap. I'm out. Enjoy your day.
Subscribe Sharaka Mono Crafts channel for more entertainment updates.